Hey guys, bit of an update for you. The knee's feeling an awful lot better. Thanks for all your comments. Uh, I spent a couple of days resting just to uh, give the knee a little bit of time to recover. I felt a bit of pain in it on Monday when I went out in the Hoka Oni Oni Carbon X, but feel a lot better now after a couple of days rest. I did 5K this morning, three miles, just to test it out and no pain whatsoever. So I think we're uh, out of the woods on that one. Good news today, picked up the New Balance Beacon version 1s, they finally arrived, really pleased to get these with the fresh foam. They've been through Germany, through France and finally to England and they're now in my possession so really really pleased to have these. Uh, go out on an initial run in those tomorrow morning I think and test them out uh, while it's a little cooler. So tonight off out for uh, Nathan's uh, hill training session down at Nine Springs, really looking forward to this one. It's normally about four miles with some hill sprints and then some recovery just to improve that kind of burst of speed and going up hills, improve the endurance a little bit. So looking forward to that. Temperatures have dropped a little bit. It's around about 20 degrees now. So much closer to the weather that I kind of enjoy. Uh, my body really doesn't work that well in, in the uh, higher temperatures. I know the temperatures aren't really that high to compared to something in California and things like that, but here it's just really muggy. It's really humid, high, very high humidity in the air. So it, it really isn't pleasant whatsoever. So. Temperature's dropped a bit, does feel much nicer today. So off out we go for some hill work and I'll catch you later on. So relatively short video today for you guys. You've just seen a bit of footage from one of the local uh, Yeovil Town Road Running Club training sessions put on by Nathan. Nathan's a really fantastic trail runner. Uh, he organises local events too. They're mainly trail based affairs. His company banners Flying Fox Running. Uh, really fantastic events. Please do check those out. I'll post a link in the description for you to go and check out some of his races. So a great hill session, around about four miles in length. We did some hill sprints up three or four different hills, varying in time, so between 10 seconds to around about one minute, and at different effort levels as well, to mainly improve that endurance, improve strength, improve form. So really, really beneficial. I've been around to a few of those sessions now and really, really do find those very, very advantageous in terms of improving my form and strength. Use the Terracaiga 5s today. These have been fantastic over the last couple of months since I got them. I really do enjoy the cushioning and they're protective enough. There's quite a lot of tree roots you've probably seen on, on that trail uh, and from the footage earlier on. So need to be a little bit careful sometimes. These have saved me a couple of times in terms of those tree roots. Although well, there isn't that much protection, but just enough. The trail around Nine Springs really isn't a heavy kind of trail. It's more of a neutral uh, trail consisting of some gravel areas, mud, and there's a lot of tree roots there. So having some type of protection there is good. In terms of that terrain, the outsoles worked out really well for me. I had no issues there. This is probably the perfect shoe for me. I'm mainly a road runner, but I do like to get out on the trail sometimes, and this kind of fits the bill. It's kind of a, a middle ground shoe uh, between road and trail. So the beacons have arrived, as you saw earlier on. 
Uh, I've wanted to get these for a long time, but I've got several easy day shoes and I really couldn't justify that full price for a shoe that's now been superseded by the version two. But getting these for around about 40 pounds, I couldn't quite resist. They are an incredibly bright red color. Uh, my wife did comment to me that they are incredibly red, possibly even more than the uh, Vaporfly 4% in the uh, Crimson. But uh, I did manage to get out for a very short run in them. I am going to give you my initial impressions in another video, so stay tuned for that over the next couple of days. Right, that's all for me for today, guys. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. Please hit that like button and click the bell for notifications. My name's Ed Bud, and I'll be seeing you.